The Mongols were famed for their archers. And at the heart of their success was the clever engineering of the Mongol bow. The Mongol bow was part of a family of bows. Different cultures made these in varying shapes, but they were all made of the same materials. They were all composite bows, assembled from several parts. Lucas Novotny is a world-class horse archer and a master composite bow maker. Here we have a wooden core. That's what we begin with. The core is basically the invisible part of the bow. All we see in a bow is always the flesh. However, we never see the skeleton. Just like in a human, we know it's there. The wooden parts are fitted together with precision joints, giving the bow its distinctive shape. OK. Now we have the tips. They go in like so. These tips of the bow are non-bending. They act as levers that allow you to draw a much stronger bow than you normally would be able to. It's a genius bit of engineering. The next stage in assembling the composite materials is to laminate the wooden core with strips of horn. A tool called a tendiek ensures that even pressure is applied to the glued surfaces. That's, that's a lot of pressure. I have to work to really kind of keep this in place. Horn resists compression and stores energy. It is the muscles of the bow. The bow maker then applies the sinew. This is dried animal tendons that have been pounded and shredded to produce fine fibers of considerable tensile strength. Bundles of combed sinew are moistened with water, then soaked in glue made from the swim bladders of fish. The sinew is applied carefully, layer by layer. One medieval text states that all of the skill lies in the laying of the sinew. You have to really be quick with your hands. You have to make sure the fibers are straight. Keeping the sinew straight is essential. If the limbs are not perfectly true, the bow risks twisting in action. A finished Mongol bow is usually covered with leather or birch bark to protect it from the elements. But the horn is exposed. That is where the power is. In the hands of highly skilled mobile horse archers, the Mongol bow became one of the most legendary weapons in history.